Hi there, Gerrit Zouten from Good to Great. Hope everyone at Bright so well today. Um, we had lovely rain the last couple of days. It feels like the cape of old times. So the purpose of this video is to give you an overview of the Bright's Good to Great system and some of the changes that we've uh, introduced and I uh, just want to say thank you very much, Nita, for your contribution and um, your leadership and taking the lead as far as um, leadership and aligning people to become the best that they can be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through a couple of slides and I'm trying to will try to be as brief as possible. Uh, it's always a bit challenging for myself, but let's try. Um, okay, so. As you all know, we all confronted with this virus, this pandemic, the coronavirus. Um, yes, and it's tragic and, 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 and it's serious. And uh, uh, But we also, from a business point of view, want to see it as more as how do we convert this this virus, the threat, into positive. And we just, uh, William and I, from good to great, played around with the term corona and we came up with the slogan, Courage to overcome, we have to have courage to renew, to optimize the business in order to neutralize adversity. Because what we know, and people are talking about the second wave and the third wave, and whoever who knows what can happen in the future, uh, the old saying is the only thing we're certain about is that it's the world is changing and we need to change faster than the competition. So, I'm going to talk about what's the purpose of good to great. So, and, and from the word go, uh, our focus has been uh, the same. It's how to achieve sustainable profit with people, not through people, with people. So, if you look at a Gallup study, Gallup is an international study, focuses on um, employee engagement, and they found... In January, in a study done in January 2019, last year, that highly engaged organizations are 21% more profitable. And, uh, and I thought about that, and uh, but it does make sense. So sustainable behavior equals sustainable profits. So let's talk about how does this, this model stack up. So it all starts with uh, engage employees. Engage employees, uh, in the bright context, people who take responsibility, accept responsibility, for their, their behavior and these uh, these behaviors align with the values of rights very important that there's alignment and we measure engage employees by behavior well good to great is a behavior measurement system it's a behavior mod modification system but it's also a way that that people can monitor the progress in respect of behavior so what is the purpose of this? This leads to an effective organization as measured by KPIs. So things such as cost, profit, profitability, uh, waste. Those are, there are many, many forms of KPIs in business. They call it the hard indicators in the business. But that's all coming from behavior, which then leads to satisfied customers and that's the, the purpose, uh, the core purpose of, of uh, any business. And, and, and I know the price is extremely uh, customer-orientated, people-centric. Um, and, and when I go to Boston, you know, and I do a lot of shopping there, why do I go there? Because I feel like family, the salespeople treat me like uh, they care about my needs and they're solving my problems, not like they're trying to sell a product to me. Or a, a solution they're trying to so how do we help you to solve your problem so it's about the customer experience but you can only get that if your employees study the product and if they continuously stay abreast of the changes and latest technology and if they show empathy for your customers so satisfied customers as measured by sales then leads to ultimately successful management I can add yeah uh, a successful board as measured by profit um, 
uh, some people refer to the triple bottom line, the triple P, sorry, the, the profit, planet, and people. So people is very important here. So if you think of how the equations stack up, employees, engage employees, that's the actual. Everything else, KPI, sales and profit is only a consequence of behavior. So that's why, um, that's why, that's why there's almost a bit of fixation, fixation on engagement and why it's so important in business today and always been the case. So I'm going to give you an overview of the, the good to great system as, as, and with some um, changes that we've introduced. So good to great, uh, starting with goal alignment, and that's what uh, is a function of senior leadership. So all the, the senior managers, that's a critical function to make sure that everybody stays aligned and energy is focused towards the end result, and that is to satisfy the customers um, in the bright way. So to do that, you have a good to great scorecard, which is tailor-made for every position. So um, all the research is, uh, is unanimous that you cannot have a generic scorecard appraisal system that fits everybody. It, it really needs to be very focused on the specific job and the, and the individual. Uh, so a scorecard contains of three things. It contains a KPI, measurable things such as turnover, uh, dormant stock, things like that. And then this, the second component, which is which is something that we've just introduced, um, and it will be effective from I would say the first of July, uh, is um, self assessments, professional routines, behavioural routines that a person needs to monitor. And the third thing is your medals and yellow cards, and I will elaborate on that a little bit further on. So with your scorecard, there need to be inputs, and the inputs are um, and threefold. Firstly, your daily self-assessments, as I've mentioned. Um, so daily self-assessments based on your professional routines. These include things that you do on a daily basis, a weekly basis, uh, but it's important that the employee need to monitor their own progress. It's critical that they see that they take responsibility for this. And, and I know one can expect some resistance and can expect people to say, yes, you know, is it really my job? Um, you know, why must I do this as a paper exercise? And, and uh, all the research again is unanimous. You know, the top professionals, the top athletes in the world, the top business people in the world, it's all about assessments and and it must be self-driven assessments self-assessments as opposed to uh, so self-policing as opposed to being policed in by supervisors so when you do when the employee does the self-assessment yes it will still need to be adjudicated by the supervisors right so second component is your medals and yellow cards those are the medals are specific Behavior that people display over and above their job descriptions. That is when people go the extra mile. And it is about when people offer discretionary effort. And that is what engagement provides you. People will not just give you basic compliance. It's how do we give you more than uh, what our job description dictates? Um, and unfortunately, that is the problem that we've got in government, in a lot of parastatals, is that everything is compliance orientated and it's not about meritoc uh, uh, um, meritocracy. Yes, maybe mediocrity, but not meritocracy. Third, uh, so what happens? Uh, your daily self-assessments and your medals and yellow cards, which are um, implement, uh, um, adjudicated by supervisors, leads to monthly inputs, which is done on Dropbox. And, um, and, and I've released a, a video on how to do inputs on, on Dropbox. So what happens with the monthly inputs? As good to great people, we produce the reports. Reports are, first one, a monthly detail report. It will tell you exactly how you've scored on each of the three things. Your KPIs, number one, your daily professional routines, which is one 
score and it's an average score for all your daily professional routines and the third thing is the medals and yellow cards medals are bonus points in other words when you display the brights values uh, you get a bonus you can get bonus points and yellow cards is i would say is learning incidences uh, but you incur penalties then uh, that's undesired behavior uh, it's bad habits that we want to avoid and discourage uh, but again it's not it must not be seen as a way to ridicule people or to belittle them but it must be seen as a learning opportunity all right from monthly detailed reports we then have uh, a 12 month rolling report and in the 12 month rolling report it gives us a view of how the person performed uh, over the last 12 months and it's a beautiful report that, that indicates trends and it also gives some it gives a summary at the end the average score at the end and by the way this is used also to determine your your annual performance bonus the third poll, the third um, component is a wall of fame and um, it's fantastic to see uh, all the wall of fames uh, at brights and if you walk in the stores and i see on the walls you know in the various areas that uh, that the people's pictures are there and, and and on the wall of fame is a number and it represents a number of times that people has um, uh, awarded a, a gold achievement in other words how many times they've been gold in a month and i've seen uh, recently i've seen a, a person or a couple of people who's got 16 already since uh, i think november 2018 or yeah sometime in, in november which is i think is absolutely fantastic so from the Wall of Fame, we have rewards, consequences, and it's very important that uh, consequences must be immediate and certain. Um, uh, all the research is pointing towards that. I uh, just recent, recently read a book called uh, Bring Out the Best in People um, by Aubrey Daniels. And, and in the book, he stated the importance of uh, consequences to be immediate and certain and a lot of companies make a mistake here that they, they divorce consequences from behavior which lose the impact of, of management so uh, the first uh, step of consequence is the monthly gold parade and at the monthly gold parade is to celebrate all the gold achievers of the month and the purpose of good to great we want to see how many people can become gold in a month and 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 uh, it's also it's also a great idea even if it's a cool drink a packet of chips any small gift to just to say to people thank you very much we uh, we appreciate your effort so and and also to take photos of that group photos and publish it and make a printout we have heard of some some departments where they actually take a photo group photo of the gold achievers and stick it up on the notice board and I think it's great. You need to celebrate achievements. And the whole idea is to make a big thing from a small thing. Yes, this may be small for us, but for people, recognition is a big thing. And why not, you know, um, uh, embrace, embrace recognition. Uh, then develop a coaching. So people who score below 50, uh, it is very important that... Uh, uh, the, uh, that, that each supervisor uh, conducts a face-to-face -face coaching session. Uh, you've got 30 days to do it, in other words, before the next assessment. And the whole purpose is to find out what, um, how you can assist the person. Because they might have certain obstacles, there might be health crisis, there might be financial problems. All of us experience problems from time to time. And I firmly believe that people inherently want to be good and want to do a good things. So they just need some some assistance or um, maybe need to unlock some, some of the uh, thinking. Maybe they've got their own assumptions. Uh, but that's the purpose of developer coaching. It's important that it's recorded and that there's a clear action plan in terms of what the manager must do, use the supervisor, and what the employee must do. And it's important to understand that there's joint responsibility, but ultimately the responsibility lies with the employee to, uh, to, to get his performance up to the desired standard. Right, um, and then um, 
the last component, you have an annual performance bonus scheme, which I believe is very sophisticated. You take into account disciplinaries, the, 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 the uh, attendance record, the, the skills, uh, the market value, and then also the good to great score. But what I think is great about your annual performance review is you don't need to get caught up in assessments. You can actually spend a lot of time on um, development. So it leads to the next point, career reviews. Uh, the purpose of a career review is to uh, to ask people about their career aspirations, long term, short term, things that they can do better, uh, strengths, weaknesses, uh, new responsibilities they can take on their current job, uh, how they can expand their current position, and also come up with a training development plan which is very tailor made to their uh, individual requirements or the, the particular person to their own talents and this need to then lead to a training development plan which is part of your workplace skills plan so all in all this is a this is an overview of the the good to great system and um, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about seeing how this is going to take brights to the next level of excellence it's an ongoing journey uh, we all know that you now it's taking one step at a time and moving forward uh, step by step so thank you for your time um, and, and if you do have any queries or any questions please do not hesitate to contact uh, myself Gerard Tartan or um, William Welsh all the best